I purchased a new vlogging camera. Holy smokes. Gotta get me some hillbilly boots. Big boy money. You guys, I'm in the front. This is actually, of course, working pretty good now. Hillbilly, 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 hillbilly. I freaking got it. Talk me out of it. Oh, okay, you guys. How can you say no to that? We've made it to Best Buy. She's so cute. It's so wonderful. Made it to Big Burn. This is exciting. Board rain. Look at that. Boo Barn is a vibe. Are we flooding? Hey! Yeah, One, two, three, ew! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, I have like truly nowhere to clip this mic without it flopping around or looking ridiculous. I don't wanna like put it in my neck. Anyways, hello. If you watched my last vlog, the last portion of that vlog, I was standing right here, basically in the same position, wearing the same outfit, doing the same thing. Little deja vu? No, it's a different video. It's just, I'm doing the same thing. I was currently about to unbox my factors, pop them in the fridge, do a little B-roll, little time-lapse shot, cause I've already talked to you about them. I actually am coming on here for a different reason this time. I'm a little nervous. I'm over here sweating a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I'm also using this mic because currently my mother is in the shower and she's listening to music in the radio because copyright's a thing, you know. So hopefully you don't hear all that in the background. I just made a big boy purchase. Yeah. Also, if you watch my last vlog, if I didn't cut it out, I talked about trying to save money and not spending any money because I've been spending too much recently and I did another big purchase. And when I say big purchase, this is like, how did I go from I need to save money to literally making a purchase that was so big, bigger than I've ever spent in a really, really, really long time. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. And I have justifications for it, so please hear me out. I purchased a new vlogging camera. The camera that you are on right now is the Canon M50. I I love this thing. I actually just upgraded the lens a few months ago to the 11 to 22 millimeter. That's what I'm filming on. It's always linked below. And then it's also in my Amazon shop if you want to purchase, if you like the quality, if you're ever wondering, like you want to start your own channel, that's what I use. It's a very wide angle lens. I did have the kit lens for a while. The kit lens probably would go to like, it's like 15. So it's like this. This is pretty much what the kit lens is, but I wanted that wide angle shot. So you can see all of this. The only thing that's the downfall to this camera is the fact that it is pretty bulky, especially with the lens that I just purchased. It's a lot longer than the kit lens, which it's not so bad. I still take it places, but I don't like take it into like restaurants or stores. It's always just iPhone vlog. I don't even know where my phone is. I was about to just be like iPhone vlog, but I have AirPods, but I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPhone, I think it's like the 14 Pro Max or something. It's not the brand brand new one, but I got it like right before I believe 15 came out and honestly I love that quality I do love that quality especially in 0 0.5 0 0.5 I believe is even wider than this and like sometimes I'm like this looks really good like so if you just have a phone and you want to vlog do it because you can and I do almost every vlog like if you're seeing me out in public or somewhere I'm most likely using my phone a lot of times in the car I'm using my camera but other than that it's my iPhone 14 anyways getting back to my whole point I've been wanting a camera that's small enough and compact that I can literally just throw in my pocket I've had them before that's what I missed because I know if I have something that I can just put in my pocket I will use out and I will be able to just like bring with me into places this camera is not something that like you could fit in a pocket for sure and even in a bag it's just too much if that makes any sense it's not huge it's not like a DSLR but it's still I consider I believe like a mirrorless camera so it has a detachable lens which I love but it's not the best for portability in my opinion maybe for some people it'll work and if you want to take it into stores if you got that confidence go for it but I feel like it's just it's too big so this camera that I purchased I spent $900 almost. I did finance it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I was sitting here debating with this decision and watching all the YouTube videos on this camera. And I went to my mom and I was like, talk me out of it. <laughs> and basically she was like, well, it's your own money. You got it. You can afford it. And you're investing in yourself. So in your channel and your business. So like, how can you say no to that? Here we are purchased. And I'm about to go pick it up from Best Buy right now. Like, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's like this, but like spending a substantial amount of money, like I don't even like to spend like $100 sometimes. It's like, especially on something that you can't justify as like a need when it comes to like, I don't need another camera. This one's fine. But I did it. I pulled the trigger. If I don't like it, I could always return it. But I watched a lot of footage and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it. The quality is really great of all the reviews I've seen. It has like product showcasing where like you can like put something up in front of the camera and it'll immediately focus. Like see how the can's in focus, but then sometimes it takes a while, especially in some lightings. Like this is actually... A 
of course, working pretty good now, but sometimes this autofocus isn't the best. So this new camera does do product showcasing, which just random feature that I really liked. And it's super compact. It does have a flip out screen. I can't attach a mic. It also has like automatic AI mic involved. Like if I flip the camera around, no one's in frame. It can like flip it to the back. And then if I'm in frame filming myself vlogging, it'll like flip to the front. I don't know. Those were the reviews. We're going to test it out and I'm picking it up later. So the next few clips will be on that camera once I come home and unbox it and show you guys. I am going to New York City, which I've mentioned multiple, multiple times. I want to produce some content and bring you guys along. This camera, I'm definitely still going to take and bring. With all that being said, I bought a camera and spent big boy money. Big boy money. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be able to do this and having the funds to do so because there was a time before that I couldn't afford it at all. Just in like less than three years, we've came a long way. Thank you to myself for being a damn hard worker and a saver and we need to go back to saving so that we can continue to have some money in the account. Okay, let's put away this factor meal. I think I'm gonna try to clip this because I don't want to hold it anymore. This looks ridiculous, I realize, but bear with me. I'm gonna grab my factor box right quick. Hold on one more moment. <sighs> hey, you guys can still hear me over here. <gasps> I found my phone. So it says we're preparing your order at Best Buy because I have to go to Florence, Kentucky, which means a ferry ride. Is that exciting for you guys? Oh geez, I feel like every vlog now is me going into Kentucky on the ferry. I know, if you love it, then get excited because it's probably gonna be a lot of it, especially come summertime. But if you don't, I'm sorry. But who doesn't like a little ferry moment? I'm like Derek Shepard. I have a thing for fairies now. Or what does he say? I've got a thing for fairy boats. when we're on our way to go pick up the new camera. Okay, see you then. Hello, we're back in the car and we're off to go pick up my camera. It still doesn't say that it's ready. I'm gonna hope that it is by the time I get there. It says it only should be an hour. I gotta make sure I got fairy money. I only had a 20, so this will do. They'll give me change. If you haven't drank your water today, this is your reminder. Go get you some water, drink it. And yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Having a tumbler though, or a cup really does help me. And a straw specifically helps me drink a lot more water than I normally would if I just drank it out the bottle. But anyways, we're gonna go. We're gonna go across the ferry. Yeah, let's go. Probably like 20, 25 minutes and here I am. It did not feel long at all. Telling you what, without the ferry, it would be an hour drive. No questions asked, I've done it. Let me check in and say that I've arrived. I'm here. Continue with curbside pickup. Spot number one. Just say zero one. Try to put zero one. Just says one. I'm in a car, a white car. Where should we place your order? I feel like I want to say passenger. I'm going to say front passenger side because rather than them coming here and like being on camera, who knows if they want to do that. And then I have to show them this number. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. I'll uh, see you when they come with my goods. A few minutes later. I just got a message that says they will be out with my order. Hello. Hello. I just need the four digits. 6765. Six, six, Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. You guys, I freaking got it. Look how small this box is. 
digital camera ZV-1 Mark II. Okay, let's go home so that we can unbox this and so that I can do some test footage. Okay, let's go home. gonna push this viewfinder out for like a little bit so that I'm not constantly staring at it. Here it is, the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. Let's unbox it. I freaked out still, even on the way home after the ferry, I'm still freaking, freaking out about it. But we have it now and there's truly no going back. Definitely no going back today, so. Okay, so let's unbox the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna take this sticker off. They had it on the side and I didn't even realize they had a little outline of the camera. But you kind of get the idea of like how small it is. I did no peeking in the car as much as I wanted to, but so we've got all the instructional manuals and all that jazz. This is what I see, y'all. This is what I see. Oh my goodness. She's tiny. Oh my goodness. I can already tell like how it fits in my hand that that is exactly what I wanted. Ooh, a little mystery envelope. Hmm. I don't remember seeing this. Oh, it's the little wind muff. Time has come. Let's make sure she's in focus. Oh my goodness, she's so cute and so little and small. You can probably see my smudges on it already, but here she is. She's so compact and small. Here's the screen. It was already flipped the right way, but wow, look at that. Look at that. Do you see yourself? Say hey. Wow, it's so lightweight. Holding this camera compared to this camera, is just a complete difference. Let's pop the battery in here real quick. Oh, it's a little different, okay. Battery's in, hopefully it's charged. Let's try to turn it on. You see it? Okay, I'm gonna take the SD card out of this camera and I'm going to put it into this one and we're gonna see how it sounds and how it looks and let's test it. Hello, I believe I'm recording. I have this big, huge red box and everything and I have a red light on, which is so nice. Like, you know how many times you could not be recording? But what do we think? Just by looking in the viewfinder, which if I'm looking over here instead of at you, I'm super sorry, but I'm just over here looking and trying to get a feel for it. I like it. What do you guys think? There's also like a little skin effect on this thing, which is so cool. Like, do you see my skin? It's on low. It's like a skin smoothing filter type thing, but then I'll turn it off back on and there's like low mid or high high is crazy like look at that wow okay we'll just leave it off for now that is so cool it is such a cool feature how are you guys how are you hello how does the audio sound how do i look and all that jazz maybe can i set this on top of my current camera without it falling off. It's a brand new camera. But I did want to test out product showcase and I do have that on. Focus on the candle. And focus on me. Focus on the candle. And focus on me. Focus on the candle. Focus on me. Wow. Just wow. I'm actually loving it. Do you guys like the quality? Please let me know down in the comments. I'm so excited. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It is so lightweight. You guys, you guys. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, I'm going into dark settings. You still can kind of see me. Wait, you still can kind of see me? 
I'm kind of yellow, I'm kind of yellow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was pretty quick, if I do say so myself. How does it sound? Let me know how it sounds. Let me know if you like the quality. Yeah, let me know. Okay, look at yourself real quick. That's you. This will be so great for New York City and just being able to throw in your pocket and go and have a camera that I can still vlog on and not always use my phone when I'm trying to use my phone for other things, but still have bomb quality. I love it. Okay, good purchase. That's my test of the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. Now back to vlog. Hello, how are you? So it is the next weekend and I am filming on my brand new camera. Tell me what you guys think. I figured we would continue this vlog with this camera because why not? Like, hello. Today is Saturday, March 16th and I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing today. This morning I did upload a new vlog and I posted a TikTok. So I edited or finished editing my last vlog last night on Friday and then I this morning I posted that and then I also edited a TikTok and posted that as well. So go check those out. I'll link them below. This is a new angle just like in my room. I've got like the windows open and the blinds open. It was sunnier this morning, but I feel like it is kind of getting a little gloomy. I also have Roxy going, my Roomba. She's out there right now. I also had to mop a little bit because it's storm here. I want to say like Thursday night. When I tell you a storm, it was a freaking storm. Poured rain. And I was thinking like, I was going downstairs to check the basement. I'm like, are we flooding? Like, Lord, thank you, we did not. But I seriously had to go check because it was pouring and it was right when I was about to go to bed. Which is nice because it's like the rain sound for like when you're trying to go to sleep, but. So our backyard is kind of flooded right now and my dog was out there and got his balls on money and then came in and like the there was ball prints everywhere all over the kitchen. So I did a little mop in. By mop in, I just kind of wiped it down with a little pad. But anyways, last weekend, it's two weekends now. I've kind of been in a little, I don't know, funk or a little bit, but like, I don't know. I think it's because I work a full-time job and then for the past couple weekends, I've been having stuff going on. Plus I've been on the grind with editing and posting vlogs. So it's like, I never really had a day unaccounted for or time unaccounted for, like without something to do. Like I always kind of mapped it out and had a plan. Life's, you're not always gonna have a plan every single day. Like I know that but I don't know why I'm just like over here like well, what do I do I don't know I'm over here like why am I filming this who wants to watch this but like if someone else is having this type of weekend then yeah but I'm trying to tell myself I uploaded a video and I posted a TikTok so how could that be bad I have no idea if you hear Roxy right now honestly she gets stuck a lot and drives me nuts but like saves you the time to not always have to vacuum you definitely still sometimes do have to regular vacuum but yeah. Okay. If you hear some kids outside right now, I don't know what it is going on. I think it's like a nice day. So the kids are out playing. So if you hear some hooting and hollering, that's what it is. I'm so sorry. So I wanted to show you guys the package that I just got. I feel like every vlog is me showing you a little package from Amazon. But this package is really not that exciting. It's camera straps for my new camera. It did not come with any. Normally they come with a camera strap. I have other camera straps, but I wanted a little cute one. Oh, it's a package inside a package. I believe this is a pack of five. I really liked one that was in this pack. The other ones I think were pretty basic, but I wanted the one that was in it and it was like five bucks for five of them. So like a dollar a piece. Oh, I see my favorite one. I'll just take them all out. Guess in the comments below or right now. Pause the video and go guess. Which one am I gonna use? The one that I'm going to be using. I freaking love this. I don't know if you know. I think I mentioned this even last vlog. I am a blue person. I love blue, that's my favorite color. And more specifically, like a teal color blue. Like if you can't tell, look at that toaster. And I mean like all those freaking cups I have. Don't mind all the mess over there. But I'm a teal boy, okay? But look at this, this is so freaking cute. This one I have to showcase for you. I love it. So I'm gonna pop it on the camera, but I have decided to name him. It's a him and his name is Elvis because of his little poofy hair. It reminded me of Elvis's hair. <laughs> Pull it through. Cute. I really am gonna love this. Like A, it's just aesthetic. And B, like it's actually practical because like, I don't want to drop him. I can tighten this and just be like, cute. I will say this camera is very bright and white. And sometimes a little bit of a warmer tone is nice. And this camera definitely does that. Everything's on auto. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not the best at camera settings. Every time I've ever really filmed, it's been on auto because I mean, with vlogging, you're just constantly changing settings and stuff. So you need things to just like change the white balance 
and the ISO and all that stuff. So I've completed the fit. I just wanted to show you because I was over here feeling myself. I ain't even gonna lie, just a little, little bit. Yeah, let me show you. The fit, hold on. Ew. The new Tasman Uggs. I love just like a brighter color because I'm normally always in black. I don't know if this really matches. It's like a, a gray with a blue, but I like it. I think the shoes just brings it all together. I feel like it's a very winter cold look. I mean, it's not super warm. It's only like 50 something outside, but it's cute. <laughs> As you can tell, we're in the car again. I did end up convincing one out of two cousins to come and hang out with me. So we're gonna do that. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might, you know, drive around, maybe go to like a park or something. And I don't know, I was kind of feeling like going on a walk, going like through a walk trail. Not like hiking or anything, but just like sidewalk trail. Yeah, let's head over to my cousin's house. Pick him up, I believe he's gonna spend the night. So Caleb, Corey, so let's go pick him up. Can we get can we get news on your latest album? I, I seen y'all out at the club last night, and uh, what was yeah? What's going on with that? <laughs> I'll leave a little TikTok TikTok of YouTube transition. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> what that bitch. We ate that. I haven't edited any of this footage. So I have no idea how good the quality looks compared to my other camera. Do you see my stomach? Hmm. This is my stomach. My family. Yeah, my arm. <laughs> okay, let's go home. So welcome back to the next day. I have no idea when the last time that you guys seen me was. We did go get, I think it was Graders. I think the last time you guys seen me was Graders. Came home, Graders was delicious, and we just talked and watched a movie, or attempted to watch a movie. I ended up sleeping on the couch in my basement last night. That's where my cousins always sleep. Caleb slept last night on the couch. They always do, because we felt like a big, comfortable, you, you guys have seen it if you watch any of my last videos, but I ended up just falling asleep. We watched Irish Wish, which if you don't know, I'm a huge Lindsay Lohan fan always have been her old 2000s movies were just iconic can't tell me i'm wrong we'll stand by that till the day i die we watched irish wish and honestly i'm not quite sure what it was about i was watching a little bit but then i ended up just falling asleep i'm not gonna lie to you i'm probably gonna have to rewatch that but it's the next day i already got ready showered i know you probably can't tell the next day because i'm wearing the same shirt but i did change the pants and the undies and the socks i promise also, I just posted a TikTok. Yesterday, I did like a timestamp TikTok, which is different from my TikTok. Oh, let me turn down the volume. Copyright. Yeah. This is my timestamp TikTok. You definitely should go like it. Follow me on TikTok. Just a cute little timestamp with music of stuff that I did yesterday. If you're interested, go check that out. I've been trying to post more on TikTok. Okay, let's go wake up my guys in.
cute. We ate that. <laughs> Who gave you those glasses? I bought a machine. Dude, you actually <laughs> bought those? Yeah, I bought a machine. I got me a pair. <laughs> Look at me a smile. Hold on. Why? Look at me, smile. Oh, no, 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 not that picture, not that picture. No, hold on, hold on. Don't send that. What? Not that one. What? No, my double chin. Dude, you're fine, it's not double chin, that's, that's just the side of your face. Do you wanna tell them where we're going? Guys, so I got a concert I'm going to next month and I gotta get me some hillbilly boots. Hillbilly, 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 hillbilly. <laughs> Ate that. Ate. Ate. <laughs> so you, you didn't even this. tell them where we're going. Anyways, oh, so guys, we're going to Boot Barn. Catch us when we get there. Ew. Ew. Wait, let's still do it. Let's still do it like this. One, two, three. Ew. Oh, oh we're not doing ew? Yeah. Uh, One, two, three. Ew. <laughs> Dude, when we get together, it's like two crackheads. <laughs> but we fat. <laughs> Dude. We the crackhead for food. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave this all in. All right, you do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to boot barn we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to Boot Barn. <laughs> Smile and wave. <laughs> Is this the way you enter? No, you go this. Are you sure? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Sparkly pair. You don't know if you want to do what? Sparkly pair. The ideas. Boot Barn is a vibe, you guys. Swear. It's a vibe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you want to get? This is, I was looking last time when I was here with my grandpa. Yeah. <gasps> I found your boots. Where? I found them. Yikes. That's not the vibe? No. I'm getting brown. I'm brown. brown. Do I want this? These? You are getting brown? Do you, do you want like pointy toe or square toe? Like this see, is square toe. See, I want to get enough. That's pointy I toe. Get a, a big, though, big size so my feet are not squished. So you probably are gonna want wide. One hundred and ninety nine dollars. That's crazy. You're gonna probably definitely want this type square toe instead of skinny toe so that you have more room because that's less room. You know what I mean? Get you some like hot pink, rocking boots. No. <laughs> wow. They had to be brown. Ooh, but like, what about like a pop of teal? Are you vibing with the pop of teal? The Papa Teal's kind of cute, ain't it? Yeah. I mean, they're not square toe though, they're pointy. Oh, these are the ones my mom has. Mama has these. I want high though. Yeah, high those are just those low. Are they're cute though, right? What size is that though? It's probably way too small. It size. looks small. Does it, oh, I think it's a they're nine. nine. So you're probably gonna need like at least a good 12. Her outfit eight. Oh, those are cute actually. You got a little red and teal. That's cute. Ooh. Color like that. <gasps> Step out and leave. <laughs> Step out and leave. I'll wear this for my wedding. You wear this for the show. I wear that for my wedding. You would? You yes, like this? Look at that. How much you think those are? Those are probably expensive. Yeah, but two hundred ninety dollars. Look, I don't know if I'm feeling that tan color. I'm not gonna lie. I like you do like that? But I, wanna, I was thinking you wanted like I a brown. Want a dark brown, but I want brown. Well, that would be a good mix then, I guess. Anyways, guys, so coming up on today's episode of what the fuck is going on? I'm just kidding. Oh, do, see, this is why I don't like you. I do these leave on my face or no? Do these leave on my face? <laughs> Why do we both do this at the same time? Okay, you want like long top, you want square toe, and you want light brown. Yes. 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, literally, why did those meet every criteria that I just said? That's why I grabbed them. <laughs> no. Like, it really did. It just met the criteria. Okay, she's trying on a size 11. We don't like this style of boot, but just to see if an 11 will fit. Because if not, we got to go to the men's. Does it fit? How do you feel? <laughs> oh, the, the top. Do you want to try another one on? I mean, my foot is squished. Those are cute. They have a little heel. You want like a little heel? Yeah. Okay. Or are they? I guess they all kind of do, don't they? They actually are cute. Those are low though. Actually, the low look good on you. I got you, girl. Just push. We need a shoe horn. We need one of those things. Oh yeah. These, those fit? These fit. These fit? Where's your toe? Right here, That's they, perfect. There's so much room. Because they're wide. Yes. So you need 11 CW, whatever that means. But wait a minute, are those the criteria? But I think I like them though. You don't like them? No, I do. I'm No, I'm saying like, where's the other one? Wide calf, that's what it means. Oh yeah, W, V, wide calf. Wait, hey, go back into light. There's dark over here. Yes, it's different. Yeah, who's gonna steal them? We're in a <laughs> room full of boots. If you're more worried about boots, not Crocs. Stand here. Ew. Smile. Him hip. <laughs> I like them. Seriously? Yeah, that's exactly what you said. You wanted a wide toe and it's a light brown. I think I would. Oh, dude, on everything. Oh, cool it, cowboy. You think Heather would like this? She would love that. Why do I feel like I want to buy it for her? That is so freaking cute. Heather, if you're watching, you want it? <laughs> no freaking way, no freaking way. Kayla, Kayla. <laughs> Look, you can buy a boot carrier. But you like them? They meet the criteria. Hold on, I gotta send a picture of my mom. Yeah, like you said, light brown, wide toe, and they fit. They really do fit. They're comfortable. Like, I have enough room. Yeah, so ask your mom. Okay, I'm gonna go with these. Surely? So you're not even gonna ask? You're just gonna buy them? I don't have to ask. I mean, I know it's your money, but like, you don't want anyone else's opinion? No. Or you're good? No, I'm good. You like them? I like them. I don't you wanna see yourself in them? Yeah. Kayla, why is this you? Oh my gosh, that is me. I told you. It really is, isn't it? Like you'd wear that. I don't know if it's connected or if it's supposed to be separate. And I don't know what size jean are you. No. <laughs> you just have to try them on and see. Or actually you could do it around your neck. Put the waist around your neck. If it touches, it'll fit. It I swear, if it touches, it'll fit. If it doesn't touch, it'll be too small. If it overlaps, they'll be too big. I swear, it works. How do you know? I've tried it. Honest. Hand on the Bible. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Do the neck trick. You'll be able to see if they are fit. Put them behind your back. Like throw them behind your back. And take the, yeah, take the ends and wrap them around your neck. They're going to be super tight. Okay. But see how that worked? Like, that's going to show you. So you, if you go up one more size, honestly, they might work, though, because they'd be stretchy. But I don't know if they'll be too tight because you did have to stretch them. But they stretched to where you wanted them. So just, like, from your wrist to, like, your elbow is the size of your foot. Do you know that? Yeah. I swear, try it. Our body's proportionate. These were 33 wide, 34 length. No, it's waist. It's not wide. 34, 34? That'd probably be good. Probably fit. Where? But you can always just try them on. Just go. Bye bye. Have fun. Hey. So I think these are the boots she's getting. I do not look like a cowboy up in here. Embarrassing myself hardcore, but you know. Okay. Come on. Oh, they're too long. Is your waist okay? Yeah. But they're so long. We just need 34 30s. 34 or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, let me see if I can find. About, Hold on. But you don't want that long. Here. Huh? Let me try with the boots. Let me stay out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go find you a smaller size. Okay, I'm gonna lock this. I'm gonna take the floor. Yeah, let me. Talk I'll to talk to him. Hey guys. Hey guys. So, what do we guys think? What do we, what do we think? I'm gonna put these boots on. I think. I mean, guys, I think they're just a little bit too long. Yeah, they're they're long. They're they're very long, guys. Jake went to go get me another pair, but I'm not feeling these, and I don't know. They're just very long. I don't know how to feel about them. I just I'm kind of speechless. Okay, anyways, Jake's back. Oh my God, what is that? You try these? Okay, let's try those. Give me those. Okay, let me see. 
A 33, so they're one size inch smaller on the waist, but they're 32, so they're two inches. You definitely would not want to ever wear those. Are you gonna wear them over? Yeah, they're overalls, that's what you do. Oh, they're not overalls, they're jeans. I would tuck them in. I feel like tuck them in. They're an inch tighter on the waist though, but they're two inches Ooh. shorter. Yeah. I'm I can't, dude, there. I cannot find any out here. Okay. Try, try, try. They didn't fit? No. To the waist? Yeah, too small. Yeah, and that's only one inch too. That's from 34 to 33. I can't find nothing else. Swear everything else is 34 length or smaller waist. Um, I want to see how much a hat is. So okay, fine. Let's go look at hats. Here. Put it on. This, why? No. Put it on, fine, I will. I don't care. Did I eat? I should have been a cowboy. Did I? Or no? Is it good? I actually like this. Does it look good on me? Yes. Does it? Yes. You see me? Am I recording? Yes. <laughs> Try it on. I love these black hats. This looks my good. This is like flicka type shit. My head's big. Dude, if it's me, try it. Neon Is it too small? Hello. Is it too small? Hey. Yeah, That's pretty. Like see? You pretty because you got the hair hanging down. That's pretty. Like, Put it away now. Okay. Now let's go to Walmart. <laughs> I'm so serious. Hey. Not in the price range. Not in the price range. Not at all in the price range. Like, what about these? I don't even want to look. Dude, that's not even in the price range. It's 120. What? That's 120. Dude. Dude, Walmart, here we yeah. come. Like, We're literally, everything. Fucking Toys R Us, here we come at this point. I'll steal a hat off Woody. 